Hello, lovelies. I'm C, and welcome back to another episode of Naruto Shippuden. On the last episode, we met Sasori's grandmother, <laughs> which was random as hell, but I guess uh, she and her brother are super revered in the Sand Village. Uh, hopefully, they can help Kankuro, but I don't know. Let's just get straight into episode 10. Oh, maybe they're trying to figure out if they might know about what poison he might have created. <laughs> She's like, are you stupid? Did you not try an antidote? Damn, that almost... That almost scared me. <laughs> wow. お金は何もてを打っておらんのか一応この灰はスペシャリストチームの派遣を要請しております彼らの到着を待つのが一番ですなんと他人任せなあいみんお前らが他国との同盟に甘い不参な教育しかしなかったからこんなるんじゃスリ
are they doing? What like what's per being prepared? I don't understand. Okay, I not sure what that was about. Oh. So everyone that's not there has to kind of like show up when called. Begin what? What are they doing to Gara? They really, really had to make me like Gara. Oh, yeah, the, the traitor. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to say, or maybe he has something suspect about him. Yeah, don't worry about him. Don't waste your men. Who are they going to send? Who are they going to send? Three days and three nights. Why does that guy this definitely feels like another cult. Again, I don't know what the sh the sh the, sh the, sh the sh I don't even know what that is called. The thing that was on his head that looks like some kind of saw. They're all colors too. Yeah, that guy. What boar? Okay, it's not always color. South. I don't understand the reasoning. Three. There's no coordination on that. <laughs> what the hell? Numbers, colors, and random animals. They have three days and three nights. I'm happy now and also just worried. <laughs> Every time I try to get like on a level head, something happens and it just makes me like worried. Kids. Okay, <laughs> no way. She's sending those children on a to the hidden village of the sand. Is it Lee? Is it Lee? It's Lee. 100%. Yep. 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 Oh, Tencent too. Oh, ne Neji. Oh, the whole crew. Oh my gosh, we're getting Guy and Kakashi together? What? We didn't get enough of them in Naruto. Yeah, because Lee and Gara have. <laughs> I love it that like, it's going to take three days regardless. But yeah, because Lee and Gara have an actual relationship too. Yeah, I don't know what you're planning to do to in a sandstorm, man. その場で <laughs> Especially since the um, the poison is in his bloodstream like that. 
It's a full body pain. Yeah, it's all gonna be on soccer. I can feel it. What? Thought she was saying the sand serves aren't that long. Yeah, she probably has really bad history with them. But I guess they used to have a lot of fighting, so they probably just don't have great memories of other villages. Perfect. But how are they gonna save Gar in time? Like, there's such a time constraint already on everything. Exactly. Come on, Sakura. It's all on you, girl. It's all on you. How? Is she thinking about his dad? I feel like so much information was given to me in these last two episodes. The main takeaway is that I feel like the Akatsuki are specifically going after all of the like monster figure or spirits or whatever that have been inhabiting other people, whether they were sealed in them, born with them, whatever. And the big, um, I think, clue was when they called Gara the One Tail, just to imply that there were numerous tails and they were specifically looking for the tails because we know they're already looking for Naruto and Naruto is the Nine Tail. So my thought process is that every member of the Akatsuki is specifically supposed to find one of the tails whether it's the one tail the nine tail the three tail i i think there are going to be more people that they're going after besides just gara and naruto and each of them is supposed to come back with one person not sure exactly though what they're planning to do with these like i i'm my in the back of my mind i'm like it has to be some kind of summoning but like i don't know what they're trying to summon and why would they even want to summon whatever would be involved in like having to capture these incredibly strong monsters like i, I don't know it just feels like a doomsday <laughs> situation but i'm pretty sure that's the situation i think they're they're all going for somebody and i think itachi is specifically targeting naruto because even though I can't remember what like what his name is, the one with like the huge sword, even though he was there, because I think they travel in pairs, even though he was there, he never really went after Naruto. It was Itachi specifically that was kind of looking for Naruto and trying to get him. So I think Itachi's mission is to capture Naruto. And I... I'm not sure if that's right, but if it is, I if it's true, that could mean so much. That could mean so much. Like that that could be an awesome fight to look forward to, or it could be like a crushing blow. <laughs> I don't know which one it's gonna be yet, but I am definitely anticipating it. Um, to just kind of like completely veer off and just give soccer a credit i cannot imagine how much research she had to do to realize all of the things she realized because we in the audience were told this bit by bit as like time progressed she had to look and find all of these answers not be given them because i don't think sonate would tell her like what would be the purpose of her telling her because she doesn't really want her to know these things, I don't think. But 
it's almost like she took the initiative to find answers to questions she had and questions she probably didn't even have. <laughs> she just was like, let me learn. And through her learning, she realized all this shit was happening, which is crazy. But damn, like, I don't know. I just, uh... oh no. Okay. Then my battery's going to die. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was, I just want to give props to her. And I think she's going to be the reason that Conqueror survives. My biggest takeaway is right now, Lee, Neji, Ten Ten, and Guy are coming to help. Will they help in time? I genuinely don't know, but I am praying that they're able to save Gara for what, from what, uh, not for, from whatever is coming for him. Because three days and three nights, I don't know what that means. I don't know what they're doing to him, but... Hopefully that he can be saved. I have to have some faith in this. Please save Gara. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this reaction, you want to see more, please like and subscribe. If you want access to full length early episodes, you can find the link to my Patreon in the description below. And until the next episodes, bye.